In today's show, we're going to talk about how to work with files on the file system using PowerShell. We're going to look at things like copying files, moving files, removing files. We're going to talk about how network shares play in part. We're going to look at some aliases, just some of the basic core commandlets that will help you be more efficient when navigating around in PowerShell. But before we do any of that, first, here's our intro. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shane Young with Bold Zebras. Those guys. And in today's show, we're going to talk about using the file system in uh, PowerShell. So this video actually comes um, out of a viewer request. So a comment on one of my other videos was, hey, how do I work with files in the file system? I need to copy some stuff from a machine here to um, a file share folder out here. And I just don't understand the mechanics of that in PowerShell. So David asked the question. I thought I'd throw together this quick video to walk you through it. If you already know how to do navigate through PowerShell, then hey, this video might not be for you. But for a lot of my audience, this is good reinforcement of either the stuff you already know or learning a new tips or tips or tricks along the way. Easy for me to say. So let's just jump right in. All right, so over here on my desktop, I'm going to open up my friend PowerShell. And here we want to start, you know, with the blinky cursor. What's the first thing we always do? We always Start transcript, right? Keep us out of trouble. There you go, we got a transcript. And so now I wanna switch over to my uh, folder where I've got the stuff. So I'm gonna go to CD backslash. And real quick though, you'll notice that CD, right? That's a DOS command, it works here, but we know PowerShell command should always be in the form of verb dash noun. So the thing I wanna remind you is anytime you see something like that, you always wanna do get alias CD. Turns out that is actually uh, the PowerShell commandlet for set location. So now you know that uh, location is the object in the uh, file system. So that might help you if you ever try to navigate around or you're trying to learn something working with a file system. So set location. We're not going to dig into it right now, but want to make sure that you're always thinking about translating so you have a way to understand what's going on. So now we could just do set location. And I have a folder called demo. So I'm going to do backslash D E hit tab complete for demo. Now I'm in my demo folder, right? Remember the dot backslash always represents kind of where you're at, so you can move around with that. The same thing holds true, right? I could have done, um, we'll switch back to using CD, right? Because CD and set location mean the same thing, right? So when you do CD dot dot, it moves you backwards. So, and then of course CD, oh, CD dot forward demo. All right, so we're in the demo folder. Now if we do a DIR, oh, right? There's the different files that I've already kind of created ahead of time just to give us something to work with. Uh, I would remind you real quick, we're not going to spend much time on it, but get alias um, dir, and you can see that is get child item. Uh, I wanted to point that one out though in a little bit more detail because there is get child item and there's also get item. And really the main difference between those two commandlets, um, right, the other one being get item, is they uh, the way they handle a folder. So if you do get item and then right expenses PDF, that would get that one item. So we might do that like if we were trying to you know put that into a variable so we could go and play with its properties or something like that. Um, if you do get child item and then uh, backslash doo -doo -doo, oh expenses like that, we're gonna get the same exact behavior, 100% the same thing. That's pretty cool. CLS, which we already know the alias for that is clear host. We won't look at that one. But the difference becomes you do get child item and then slash uh, HCSC, HCESC, right? That's a folder. So it's like, hey, here's all the things inside of that folder. So it's the equivalent of doing a DIR on that folder. But if I do get item and then the same one, oh, H. That just literally gets the folder back for me, right? So that's where I can see all the properties of the folder. So um, just a little kind of thing, you know, might be a rabbit hole for you to go digging in as you start writing scripts or start trying to work on things. Get child item. Generally the one I use just because it is, um, it does both the folders and the individual items, but your mileage may vary. All right, let's clear our screen off again. So now that we're in my demo folder, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, we're just create a new directory in this folder so I can have somewhere to move things to. And so to do that, right, I could use the old DOS command MD and um, give it a name of 
MD folder. I don't know. I'm very creative, right? So now if I do a DIR, you can see we have an MD folder. But we also know that we should translate that. So get alias and then for MD, it's actually for MKDIR. So there's actually not um, a one-to-one -one correlation there, right? I was expecting something in the form of verb dash noun. And that really confused me the first time I saw it. So what I went and had to go and figure out is that actually the proper PowerShell way, if you will, right, the using the verb dash noun um, syntax is to do a new slash item. And then what you would do here is you would do an item type, right, and I'm just using tab complete directory. And then we'd call this, uh, we'll call this ni folder. So right, dir. So now I've made a, a folder using the new item commandlet. So I wanted to point that all out also because literally before I started making this video, I was like, I don't know how to make a folder without cheating and using MD. So I went and dug in a little bit. So now you guys kind of know. And item is really an important object in PowerShell to understand that we're not going to spend uh, a lot of time on today. Well, we are because we're going to use some of its commands, but not all of them. But item is really kind of that main file system object or registry object or other uh, you know objects that you're getting when you're working with these type of commandlets. So the first one we might want to look at, for example, is our friend copy item. And so with copy item, we could say something like, hey, let's copy item, um, we'll do a little tab complete expenses.pdf to the um, MD folder. Hit enter. And if we switch over here, right, go to my demo folder, there's my MD folder. We'll see that expenses exist there and right there. So we're able to copy folders. I'm going to kind of use the, the file explorer back and forth just to make it sometimes easier for you guys to look at things. But could do all this in PowerShell as well. That's literally what it takes to do copy item. So there I showed an example of using a local uh, file, but what we could, or a local folder, right? A relative maybe would be a better way of putting it. Now let's look at the actual question that was kind of driving um, the viewer's comment, right? And that was, what happens if you incorporate a file share in all this? So really the answer is nothing. If we go over here to demo, um, right, we go to the C drive. So I have a demo two folder. And so the demo two folder, is a file share, right? So we could check that out by saying dir and then pasting in the path. And so there you go, text and file and demo folder two. So that is just a UNC path, right? Or we could map the um, path or the share to a file system uh, folder directly, right? So the F drive or something like that, and then interact with it with no difference. But you can see that a UNC path goes and play just without any issue. So what we could do here is we could say, um, We'll do copy item and then we'll do a wildcard, right? So copy the whole folder and copy that to our path. And if we go over here and look now, we've got every single thing that we just copied over there in one fail swoop. So that's one way to do it. Let's delete everything out. And yes, I promise we will eventually show you how to delete things with PowerShell. So folder is empty again. So what we might do though, is we could also say, hey, instead we want to copy item and we want to do star.docx. Boom. And so then that just copied the uh, docx files over. So now that they're there, I want to show you something else. I want to show you one of the scary parts about copy item. Go to the C drive, go over here. So in, uh, we'll grab document one, we'll open it up. Shane making the video and changing the file. We'll just change this to Shane was here. All right, one of my favorite things to write people's yearbooks a thousand years ago. We'll close that, say save. And then now we'll go over here and we'll just hit the up arrow to rerun our copy. Notice no prompting, no warning about overwriting, no asking if we want to. But if you go over to the demo two folder, open document one, it's gonna say Shane was here. All right, I also used to spell was right good old w z um anyway not important but a um just important to understand with copy item you're not going to get prompted in any way whether or not you want to do that so let's switch back over here clear screen off all right so one other thing we want to look at real quick with copy item is the recurse command so you could use copy item to move folders around all right so let's go to, over here to demo right we made the m uh we'll do the ni folder 
So we'll throw a file in here real quick, new, and we'll call a, a text document like that. Boom, all right, so we got some content in there. All right, so now the NI folder has something, what we might do is say we wanted to copy that folder over. We could say copy item, and then we could use, you know, we'll tab through here. There's our NI folder, and then we could say copy that to demo2. So we hit enter, that works. Let's go over here to demo2, see what we got. So C, demo2, NI folder. But the folder's empty, right? Because when we said copy item, it just copied that one singular item. So if we'd wanted to have copied everything, what we would need to do, let's go over here, let's delete NI folder first because folders, um, while items when you copy them over don't have error messages, folders do. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna just hit up arrow and we're gonna change this to recurse, hit enter. Still no prompting, but now there's NI folder over here in demo two and now there's our friend do, new text document. Just so you can kind of see the error, see it break, if we hit up arrow here and run this again, you'll see the error message, hey, that already exists. What are you thinking about? Why would you do such a thing? Clear our screen off real quick. I guess really I should show you though, if you hit up again, and then we say, all right, recourse, and we can add the force command uh, parameter to the end there, right? So dash recourse, recurse dash force, then that would get rid of that error message, and so the folder would overwrite the whole folder. So um, lots of little fun things with copy item. I think the only other thing I probably meant to show you was we could do copy item and then we'll say document1.docx. We're gonna copy that to um, one of our, our NI folder. And this, but when we do that, we're gonna rename it to document uh, chain.docx. Very creative name. Hit enter. And so go back to C demo NI folder, and then there is document chain. All right, so you can rename, right? That's what I was trying to show you. So you can rename files as you move them. Sometimes you need to change the names, no problem. You could get fancy, do it with some stars, uh, you know, or hopefully eventually you're gonna build up your skills and have PowerShell scripts, and so you're rewriting things as you go. But anyway, hopefully that covers copy items. So we'll clear our screen off again. And so just to add on to copy, what I wanna talk about for one second is our friend move item. So move item, right? Let's go over and make sure that we don't have anything in our way. So we'll delete everything out of the NI folder. We'll use that one. So we'll say move item and we'll say document one and then we'll say put that in the NI folder. And so there it is in the NI folder and if we go to demo, it is not here, right? So just did a file move. Uh, so let's copy it back, right? We know how to do that. So we'll say copy item and what item do we want to copy? We want to copy NI folder document one, right? I'm just using tab complete again. And we want to copy that just to right here. Ooh, fancy syntax. There you go. Document one is now back in the demo folder. And let's do our move again. Oh, error message. Cannot create a file when the file already exists. Ah, so copy item doesn't care about copying over files. But when you move an item, if you move it and there's something already in its way, it's going to give you an error message. So what you could do is you could just say, I want to force that. Boom, moving has happened. Um, the other thing I'll remind you, because I think that's really about all I want to show you with move, is you do have the what if, and so you can see that uh, what if says, hey, if you try to do that, that wouldn't work because the file's not here. Duh. But you have the same uh, option to use what if, as we talked about with copy item. All right, so the last thing we want to talk about real quick is finally, how do we delete things in PowerShell? Because I know I've been promising you that, so we will go and delete something. So let's say, remove item, and how about this, star docx, dir. We just got rid of all of our friends, um, the Word documents, right? We could have said, remove item, and how about star.pdf, and then do friend what if, what if, if you do that, it would have removed the file, c colon demo expenses pdf. So what if can be your friend as well. Um, same thing goes, holds true here. Let's do a uh, dir on our friend. Oh, dir, paste this in, there you go. So we got some files out there, let's clear our screen. So let's just do a remove item here. So we'll say remove item, we'll paste in our path. 
and we'll just say slash star and it says hey do you want to remove all of these are you sure yes I am and so then now if we do up arrow a couple times to our friend dir we can see that that folder is empty so remove file no problem whatsoever clear our screen and of course I meant to say remove item not remove file I keep getting it backwards in my head uh, you could also have used the force command parameter there to uh, avoid the prompts along the way the only other thing I want to remind you guys about is there's a lot more to be learned here right if you go get help copy item and then dash examples and so if you run that that's going to give you lots of different things to try one of the neat ones there is it also talks about how to use the sessions so if you haven't done sessions before where you actually remote into a PowerShell session on another machine and then you can move files around and things like that so instead of having to map shares and things like that but I know back in my system administrator days I always used the old uh, hidden shares right the C dollar sign shares I never would have had to do something like map a session but maybe you're better than I am so anyway I wanted to point it out and I think that wraps up the video today. So hopefully this little quick topic kind of helps you out. A lot of you probably knew a lot of this, but once again, just trying to make sure everyone's on a playing, even playing field and you know about all the little tips and tricks. And remember, someone asked in the comments, so leave me a comment. You want to see something different? Tell me what you want to see. Maybe I'll make a video for you also. Um, if you need any help, you can always hit me up on Twitter, at Shane's Cows. Or, uh, you know, you got the bold zebra thing. You got the subscribe button over here. Lots of ways to get in contact with me. So thanks and have a great day. <laughs> me again. Hey, just a reminder, if you want to subscribe, click on my face over here. Or if you want to work together or just need a friend, hit me up over here. Or if really what you wanted was more PowerShell videos, it's probably it. They are over here. All right. Thanks. See ya. Somebody stop the recording.